Hi everybody, this video is going to talk about different ways to, um, to think about your signs, a couple extra tips. If you have any questions about anything, you can always come to, uh, to your, to your um, classes, Open Studio Zoom, or you can email me at aoneal at hcsmke.org. Thanks. Um, if you have made one lawn sign and you wanna make another one, maybe, um, your family wants another one or a, uh, an aunt or an uncle or a grandma wants one. If you can get your hands on an old sign, on an old uh, uh, lawn sign, um, you can repurpose them. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you start with an old lawn sign. And a lot of times it's just, these signs are made out of um, a folded um, like heavy paper. Not quite cardboard, but kind of heavier paper. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to try to take these staples out. One thing I can tell you about lawn signs is that the people that put them together, the very nice volunteers that put them together, they like to use a lot of staples. Um, so I am, lucky I guess that I have a staple remover but um you know sometimes like if you don't have one like your fingernail will work or um or uh, maybe you can ask your grown-up to um help you with like a um like a screwdriver or something good gracious So that's super easy. And when you have this done, all you have to do is unfold it and then fold it inside out. And then you have yourself a lawn sign that's all ready to go. So before I spray paint anything, I set up my area where I have um, some pieces of paper around or underneath the stencil, um, just to, so that I don't get any spray paint on any um, outside surface and I've also weighted this sign or my stencils down with a couple of rocks because you know even though they're sitting flat on the paper it's still outside and it's windy so I like to do that so let's spray our sign And we're gonna look and see what it looks like uh, in just a second. So I removed the rocks and now we are going to remove the stencils. Nice. Exactly, this looks great. Now you'll notice in here that there's a little bit of, um, uh, some of the spray paint got uh, underneath one of the stencils. That's okay, I mean, if I was, going to put this sign in uh, in a museum show, I'd probably redo it. But these voting signs are more about getting out information. So even though it's a little it's a little dusty, I think that's all right. Once uh, the other side was dry, I can flip it over and I can redo it. Now that we have our uh, sign, our repurposed sign, this one, uh, all spray painted on both sides, now it's time for us to put it on the old bracket. And sorry that I'm not really being super graceful about it. Um, okay, so if I take this, and I have a stapler at home, so I'm gonna use a stapler. You could always, um, you know, just use tape. Now 
Now I got myself a lawn sign all ready to go. I'm going to show you guys something that I like to call a reverse stencil. Uh, on this board, I wrote vote 11-3. Now what I'm going to do with tape is I am going to start to create, um, uh, like put, put, put the tape around these letters. So the letters will be um, visible and I can either spray them or I could uh, use a marker on them. taped and what I did along uh, certain areas that still had a lot of white rather than using um, this tape which is kind of expensive I just went into my recycling bin and I got some paper to uh, and then I just used little bits of tape to uh, to tape it down and I think that that should mask it because I'm gonna I'm gonna go outside and spray paint this okay so this is outside and I'm gonna spray it and then after I'm done with this I am going to bring this inside, do the other side, and uh, and then I'll spray that. Great. Okay, so now that this is dry, we are going to remove the tape and this bit of paper, and uh, we're gonna see how it looks. So I took the tape off and it worked. Um, the lines are a little raggedy, um, but you know, if you're just looking for something for like a quick fix or like a quick way to make a sign, um, this I think is, is a really good thing. I mean, there's a little, I should have, remember when I used that tape or that paper, um, I should have maybe taped it down a little bit better. That's okay. And I took off, I did something on the other side too. Um, it says, let's vote Milwaukee. Um, these lines are a little bit like, look at that. That's kind of spooky and weird looking. I think um, if I were to do this again, I would really make sure that my tape is like really, uh, really pressed down along those uh, letters because this happens when there's a little bit of space and the paint gets underneath. And that's just what happens. And these boards, even though they're flat, they like this little ridge, um, it, you know, it, it does allow paint to go in. So I would have, I think um, if I were to do this again, I would really make sure that that tape is down there. Or I might just go over with a black Sharpie and just sort of clean up some of these lines, you know? Like just kind of make it look a little bit nicer. But the main thing is um, my message is very readable and um, and it can be seen from, you know, a car or a, a, a walker down my street and that's great. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a stencil um, with just a pair of scissors. Now, you can't really do this with cardboard, but you can do it with paper. So this is a piece of paper and I wrote vote really big. Um, and I'm going to go like this so that I know I need to leave a space in here. And with a pair of scissors, um, I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to make your first holes. One is to carefully, um, without bending the paper too much, kind of make a little snip. So this will help you get your scissors into the paper. 
and then you can just cut along like that. Um, it's just really the, it's just, it's a little tricky to get your, um, your scissors in there initially, but then once you do, it's pretty easy. Um, I'm going to show you a different way. And this is, I don't really like to do this way because I always feel it's a little dangerous, but if I put my hand under the paper to give it a little bit of, um, lift off the page, and then I carefully go like that with my scissors, then I can get my, um, then I can get it in there. So this is how you do it. So here it is, it's all cut out and you can see the reason why I left this little uh, piece of paper and this paper, it's so that I can keep this circle of the O. So would I use this for, uh, if with spray paint? No, because it's, um, it's paper and even just like the, a little bit of wind, um, even from like the aerosol, it would go under the paper and it would look kind of weird. The way I use stencils like this is when I have to have something in this case, like on the front and back of something. So um, I might put this on my sign, trace this out and then flip it over, do it again on the other side. And then I have this, it's a, it's a really good way to have the same um, size letters and font on the front and back, if that is something that you are concerned with. So for this sign, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint the letters uh, on, on my sign with a brush and with some acrylic paint. So I have um, this part of my, um, of my sign, the picture of Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I'm actually gonna place, I'm just gonna cover her up for a little bit so I can bring in my palette over here. I'm using uh, some acrylic paint. This is more of an artist series, so it's a little bit thicker. Uh, it's just, it's the paint I have at my house. So um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that, but I'm gonna show you that um, I'm getting, I'm just gonna use a uh, straight, straight color from the tube. And, uh, and I am just going to paint my letters on. Now I might need to do a couple quote or a couple coats, sorry. Um, but I think, I, I mean, I, I'm a painter, so um, using a brush is sometimes easier for me than a than a pencil. But um, I know I know I'm a little bit different from most people I know. But this is still a knowing that knowing that acrylic paint um, stays it's weather resistant for these signs. I thought uh, why not try why not try this? So I'm going to do this for a little bit, and then I will um, I'll come back on the video to show you uh, what it looks like, okay? So here is, I, I have done all of my lettering and I think, um, I think it looks okay. Um, let me just move this out of the way. I think, um, I think I'm gonna put, uh, give it like another, another pass after everything dries. But, um, you know, however, however you were to put on letters, uh, whether it's with a, a, a marker or uh, with help from your grown-up spray paint or with acrylic paint. I think um, I think anything that makes sense to you, I think you should do it.